Hello and good afternoon, guys. This is your summer crash course for learning how to deal poker professionally so you can go out and have an audition at a hopefully nearby local poker room. And if it's not local, maybe if this gauges your interest, you can go audition, you know, at a room within traveling distance. And who knows, you may be able to decide to, hey, you know what? I really live in the middle of nowhere. Maybe I should move to, uh, you know, a more popular city, so to say, uh, where these poker rooms exist. And who knows, this could be a, a start of a whole new chapter of my life. Expediting the math, you know, using shortcuts to get to the final number faster. And we're going to go through this semi slowly uh, and work our way up. If you watch the principle 2A principle, hopefully I should be able to ask you, Hey buddy, what's 65 times three? And you'll be able to quickly answer 195. And I should be able to say, oh, okay, great. Well, what's 85 times three? And you'll be able to answer right away 255. That's right, that's right. Uh, so on and so forth, multiples of three. And uh, if you have any questions about last video or this video, leave a comment below and I will do my best to get that answered for you. Uh, in the comments as this process moves along. Last night I worked and I, it was a $300 day and I worked in less than eight hours and I dealt eight cash tables. I dealt a couple tournament tables. I'll see that money in a week or two. Uh, and I made over $300 dealing cash games over the course of eight tables, which is only 30 minute increments per table. So really I only dealt four hours worth of cash games. And in the four hours of me throwing around cards, I made over $300 cash. So hopefully that is, and I'll keep sharing my numbers with you as uh, this series unfolds, you know, as you know, far as fresh, oh, this just happened yesterday, stuff like that to keep you like, oh wow, this is like, you know, real, this is, you know, uh, legit, this is possible. Someone's doing it, a lot of people are doing it. Maybe I can too. So with this principle to be uh, expediting the math, we're going to take what we learned in last video, 2A of you know quickly understanding multiples of three and trying to get to uh, final bigger numbers by multiplying by, by, by three. By the end of this video, you'll have a better idea of how to take 885 times three, which is gonna be 2655. Hey, Weird. what's 885 times three? 2655. 885 times three is 2655. Nice, and all I did there was I know eight times three is 24, and I know 85 times three is 255. So I did 2400 plus 255. Whoa, that's a lot of math. What are you doing here? Okay, I'll explain it like this. Let's say we have the number 11, all right? 11, 11 times three. Well, we know that 11 times three is 33. That kind of goes without saying, but in a visual prospect, we're gonna break it down like this. We got 11, that's 11 times two. Here comes 11 times three, right? If we separate these and basically do 10, 20, 30, plus one, two, three, that's 33. That's kind of how we're doing this. That's working on a small number. Uh, but the smaller the number, the easier it is. If we do 23 times three, we know it's 20, 40, 60, plus 369. That's 69. 23, two, four, six, 369, 69. But then when you get into the bigger numbers, like 565, you're doing, oh, that's a little big number there. But what's really going on is we know that from the last video that 65 times three is 195. Okay. So if we did these are 500. I'm introducing new chips, by the way. These yellows are worth a thousand. Blacks, as we know, are a hundred. These purples are 500 increments. So 
check it out. 565, 565, and 565. And the reason we're doing all this by three is because that's what the formula calls for. If you recall calculating the pot in video, you know, lesson 1A principle, calculating the pot, it's 3x the previous bet. So when you're doing this and you're doing a lot of math in your head for the most part, the most common number you're multiplying stuff by is three. And it's going to make multiplying things by four and six and seven and two easier anyway. So, but that's the reason we're doing it by three is because the formula calls for multiplying larger numbers by three quickly. So 565 times three, we know essentially what we're doing is we're separating this. We're by, you know, the number up front and then adding the multiple of the number in the back. And there's a lot of different ways to do this. You might be, you figure out a way that works for you. This is just a trick that I learned that worked for me that expedited my process because when I was first doing this, if the bet was 565 and someone said pot and I'm sitting there like, okay, 565 plus 565, that's uh, 10, uh, that's 1130. Okay, now I gotta do 1130 plus 565 again. 1135 is that? That's a uh, 695, right? However, I found that this trick works with large numbers faster. We can do five times three. But again, this is 500, but you know, I, I chop it down. If I think, oh, 500 times three, uh, but if I just cut out the zeros at the end and I do five times three, oh, 15. 1500 plus I know this is 195 because I know 65 I've memorized it I've figured out as many different ways there ain't no trick about it it's never going to be a different number 65 times 3 is 195 that's why we started with that last video is to try to get you to be like oh okay I get it I accept it 85 times 3 is 255 95 times 3 is 285 35 times 3 is 105 etc etc and so forth so 5 times 3 1500 plus 195 1695 1500 plus 195 1695 and if you recall me struggling a minute ago to be like, uh, 11, this plus this, uh, it's okay, the times two, and then add another five, okay, that, that's a 1695. And it came out to be the same thing, a lot less struggle. Now that we've done a hard-ish example, we're gonna bring it back to a little easier as we kind of maneuver around these examples, okay? So let's just start with the easiest example. Uh, 105, okay? 105. Now this necessarily doesn't need to do, uh, you know, one times three, 300 plus 15, 315. It doesn't really need to be that hard. The, the smaller the number, the easier it's gonna be. You can just look at this and be like, Okay, if I had this times three, what would it be? Yeah, okay, there's there's 210, there's 315. Or you can just be in your head, uh, 105 times three, one, two, three, 15, 315, easy. Look at that, 315. Okay, easy example. This is good, this is very good. You're doing great. Now let's do 125, all right? Same kind of thing, I could do one, two, three, plus 75, that's 375. The smaller the number, once it gets to be a number that crosses over the 100 increment, AKA 35, anything from five, 10, 15, 20, 25 is going to be easy to multiply by three. And I'm just gonna start with 
a simple example. We did 305, right? Or we did 105. 105 times three, 315. What about 110 times three? Well, 110, uh, it's a uh, 330. Easy, you know, 110, that's like 11. Another way to think about it is like 11 times three. Okay, 33, 330. Oh, a lot of different ways to get to the same number. Same thing. 315, you know, 15, 30, 45. 345. Cool. 320. Okay. 123. 246. 360. Nice. 25s. 123. 25, 50, 75. 375. 30. 330. One, two, three, three, six, nine, 390. And that is when you look at it like, you know, this 385, 90, 390. Perfect. So when you get into the 35s and that times three multiple reaches over the threshold of 100, that this trick comes into effect that I'm speaking on. Okay. So we're going to bump it up to 200 now, now that we got the, you know, 100 is easy, uh, on the easier end, but we're going to do 235 times three. So if we go based off of this kind of lesson that I'm speaking on, we separate the big numbers from the smaller numbers for now. And we know that 246, okay, 600 plus, based off the last video, principle 2A, you should know that 35 times three is 105. 75, 100, you know, this is 25. 75, 105. Perfect. This from the greens to the reds equals 105. The blacks are 600. 600 plus 105. That's a lot easier than trying to do 235 plus 235. That's 470 plus 235. Uh, you know. Hey, what's 235 times 3? 705. 135 times 3 is 705. There you go. Perfect. And even into the 40s, we know it's 4, 8, 12. But let me just start adding some blacks on here just to make it more interesting. So 4 times 3 is 120. All right? 369. 900 plus 120, 1,020. What's 340 times 3? 1,020. 340 times 3 is 1,020. There you go. And I'm not necessarily doing, you know, profound, uh, super challenging math, really. I'm just taking the big number, isolating it from what I have already memorized with the smaller numbers with these increments and essentially going from there. And as this gets more, you know, uh, challenging and you get better at this, it won't necessarily have to be in increments of zero or uh, five. We could be able to do, you know, 400 uh, and 42. Okay. 442 times three and that same principle this but you won't have to do this unless you're calculating true pot which will be in a future video we'll talk about you know how to calculate true pot uh, but in this video where we're dealing with catch games you're really multiplying numbers that end in zero or five so that's why we're doing it like this but in a world where we're calculating true pal and we have to know the exact number down to the dollar that's in there, 
B. 4, 8, 12 plus uh, 42 times 3. That's 4, 8, 12, uh, uh, 126. So 4, 8, 12 plus 126. 1326 is my guess. What's 442 times 3? 1326? 42 times 3 is 1326. Oh! So, and I just, and I just know that 4, 120, 246, 126, 1200 plus 126. And then I merge those numbers together. 445. We know 45 times 3 is, that's right, 135. I always knew and memorized that one because when you go into a gym and you're doing a bench press or have a bar and you put 45 pound plates at the end of each 45 pound bar, which is pretty kind of industry standard, that number comes out to be 135. Oh, I'm bench pressing 135. I got a 45 pound bar and there's a 45 pound plate on the right side. There's a 45 pound plate on the left side. So I'm benching 135 pounds. That's how I was able to use a mnemonic device to remember what 45 times three is, 135. I think about it in the world of, you know, gym to a ex certain small extension. So uh, let's just add a 600 on here. Okay, what's 645 times 3? 645 times 3 is 1,935. There you go. And it's as simple as doing 612, 1800 plus what we have already memorized, 135. 550 times 3? 510, 15 plus 150, 1650. What's 550 times 3? 1650. 550 times 3 is 1,650. It works just the same when you start to get into these more daunting numbers. Here I got 855. 55 times 3 is 165. 8, 16, 24, 2400, aka 8 times 3, 800 times 3, you know. 8, 16, 24, plus 165, 25, 65. Hey, what's 855 times 3? 855 times 3 is 2,565. 865 times 3. It's going to be 816, 24 plus 195, 2595. What's 865 times 3? 2595. 865 times 3 is 2,595. How about 900? 970 times three that's nine times three is 2700 you know 900 times three 2700 plus seven times three is 21 so 210 aka you know in this instance 27 plus 21 20 2700 excuse me plus 210 excuse me equals 2910 2,910. What's 970 times 3? 970 times 3 is 2,910. So now something interesting is going to start to happen once we get to numbers that exceed 70, you know, come to like 75. And I'm going to show you a different math technique, although the same technique still works okay but again when you're in the box the box is where the dealer sits that's the terminology for when you are actively on the clock dealing and you're in the middle of the table throwing around cards that is the box when you're in the box you're going to find yourself using multiple different stylistic math techniques to get to the same number, rearranging numbers, trying to use different shortcuts to get to the same end results. And you'll constantly be uh, 
you know, fluctuating these different styles to find what works for you. And depending on the situation and scenario you're in, you're going to find that different math tricks and techniques work better for different situations. So here we have 975 times three. We know that 75 times three is 225 and 9, 18, 27, so 27 plus 225, 29, 25. What's 975 times three? 29, 25. 975 times three is 2,925. So now I'm gonna show you another way to think about this, this like rounding up principle uh, where 975 is so close to the number 1,000. Okay, so we're essentially going to act like we're rounding this number up and then we're going to subtract the difference. So 975, although you can easily do 9, 18, 27, plus 225, 29, 25. Okay, that's the final answer. You could also do this technique and no way is necessarily better or worse than the other. Every trick and technique that I'm sharing with you may, you know, strike a chord with you better than a different method that I'm sharing with you. And so that's why I'm, we're doing this. So if we were to round this up to a thousand and then we were to multiply it by three, that's one, two, three thousand. And now, but now we have to subtract the, you know, that missing rounded up number, which is 25, you know, to go from 975 to a thousand that's a difference of 25 okay see now it's a thousand but that's you know, like an invisible number and if we did the same here so it's like okay great you can see it visually one two three thousand but now we got to subtract the difference which is 25 50 75 a thousand minus 70 or excuse me 3,000 minus 75. 3,000 minus 75. 75 times three is 2,925. Which is 3,000 minus 75. It works both ways. But what's nice about when you start to get to these higher threshold numbers, it works all the same. So let's just do, boom, 980. Again, you could do 2,700 plus 240 because eight times three is 240 right or now the difference to make this a whole thousand is 20. boom boom so if we were to round this up to a thousand okay a thousand minus two four six a thousand minus 60. oh 2,940. What's 980 times three? 29 times three is 2,940. So you see how that works? And it works all the same to do it just like this. So here we got 985, all right? Difference of 15 between the two of them. So if you really want to do, you know, a thousand minus 45 to get to 2955, you could, or you could also do 2700 plus 255, 2955, 3000 minus 45, 2955. What's 985 times three? 985 times three is 2955. So you see how we did that? There's multiple ways to get to the same answer. You know, nine, 900, 1800, 2700 plus 255, 2700 plus 255, 2955, or round up 3000 minus 45, uh, 2955. It's up to you. And that's another technique. But when it starts to get really easy, to do the more the roundup technique is when you get into the 90 digit, okay? So here we got 990 
It's only 10 away from the round, nice rounded 1,000. Same technique. 990 times three. So you could do 2,700 plus 270, which is uh, uh, 2,970, you know? But when you get to this stage where you're doing like the last, the last numbers end with either 85, 90, or 95, it's almost easier to round up and subtract that, you know, 45, 30, or in the case where it's 95, you know, the, the difference of 5, 10, 15. Oh, 995 times three. That's basically, you know, 3000 minus 15. What's 995 times three? Not 195 times three is 2,985. So we started with the numbers being essentially as simple as they could be, you know, 105 times three, one, two, three, 15, all the way up to, you know, the hardest, so to say, you know, numbers, 995, where you can use the rounding up technique. When you get to numbers like 760, you know, 700, seven times three is 2,100. And you know that six times three is 180. So it's 2100 plus 180, 2280. What's 760 times three? 760 times three is 2280. When someone throws out, when there's a, you know, $100 in the pot and someone throws out 50 and another person throws out 50 and then this person raises to 125 and then this person raises to 275 and then this guy says pot you got to be able to do 275 times 3 plus 125 plus 50 plus 50 plus 100 so you can be using it does and it doesn't necessarily have to go in that order but the first step is to find out what the previous bet times 3 is now you could do 246 plus 225, 246 plus 225, that's 825. What's 275 times three? 825. 275 times three is 825. Or you can do the roundup method, right? So 275 times three, that's, you know, round it up, 369, 900 minus the difference. 25 times three, you know, 75, 900 minus 75 equals 825. It works the same. So depends on, you know, the given situation you're in, but this guy bets 275 and then this guy says pot. You gotta be able to do 825, 925, 950, 1050, 1150. But you see how I did that. I did 825 plus this, 925 plus this 950 and then i just combined these together to get 1050 and then throw this one in 1150. i didn't do uh 200 825 plus 125 that's uh uh that's 950 a thousand a thousand and fifty 1150 you know i started combining stuff and i you know, finding shortcuts to be like, let's just add these two fifties together, make it a hundred. Let me add this to the initial, you know, that. And now, you know, I can get 925 plus 25, that's 950, that's easy. So I started, you know, uh, taking shortcuts to get to the final answer. And now if this guy who's got a lot of yellows, let's say he's got, you know, this many yellows and he's really got some chips, now, this guy says pot. Well, at that point, you got two situations. <laughs> you can see everyone else ain't got, you know, yellow chips. He's got everyone covered. He's the, the big stack at the table. So you can just say you cover everyone. But uh, so, yeah, if, he, if this guy says pot and you can see that no one else has the amount of chips that he has, you basically just say, you know, you cover the table. You're all in because you know that. 1150, the new bet, that would be, you know, 11 times three, that's three, 33, 50, that's 
3450. It's 3450 is that times three. What's 1150 times three? 3450. 1150 times three is 3450. And all I did there was do, you know, 11 times three, 33 plus 5, 10, 15, 150, 3450 plus freaking, you know, then you have to start adding the rest of the math to get to the final answer. But you're already like, okay, and the bet is 3,450 plus 400, 38, 50, 39, 50, 4,050 is the new bet, which no one's got $4,050 on the table. And uh, that's a juicy game you're dealing there, buddy. You can get there. Again, we're starting with the more ever challenging stuff and working our way to the easy stuff. So by the time we get to the easy stuff, you may be like, oh, this is like boring. You know, this might be very intense right now uh, and understandably so. But hopefully some stuff started to click in there and be like, whoa, whoa, oh, cool. That's like, oh, it's cool. Okay, so now I'm starting to wrap my head around this a little bit. Uh, these numbers won't always be this extreme. We are just doing kind of like, you know, crash course, worst case scenario. So when the time comes, you're, you know, very prepared for someone to, uh, you know, figure this out, you know, help, help you figure this stuff out. You won't often necessarily run into numbers these large this often, but it's good to know these techniques because it does make, you know, doing the math on the smaller numbers a lot uh, less hectic. Uh, you may find that you have to do, you know, 145 times three a lot more regularly than you have to do 865 times three. And that would be one, two, three, 300 plus 135, 435. Because when you get to numbers like, wow, 190, and you have to do that times three, you can be like, oh, let me just round this up. 246 minus 30, 570. 570. See, I didn't even do the 300 plus 270. I did 246 minus 30. A lot easier to get to that same number. I hope you guys are enjoying this series and learned something from this video. If you haven't looked at the previous videos yet, circle back and now you can kind of start almost start going in reverse be like you know we start at the end be like oh okay well if we start at the end well now we're going to the beginning let me go back to the end again and try to get these synapses clicked into place properly i'm going to continue to work on getting you guys ready for your first audition i wanted to share with you some of my numbers from yesterday's dealing session for me on the clock at the job my full-time gig dealing uh cards and this is just a you know one little less than eight hour shift and i hope it lets you see and know without too much of a you know a set of salesy pitch She's like oh did you know you could hey is it could it be possible for you to do this you gotta sign up no just, you know, this is just something I had to learn and I did a lot of crashing and burning and just like magic, just like a lot of things, just I put in the hours and uh, the trials and tribulations and mistakes and errors to hopefully, you know, feel comfortable sharing with you now. Hey, this is, you know, a real deal thing that, you know, just about anyone can do. I am not, <laughs> I went to high school, really, and film school after that. So uh, if you can do simple math and you're already familiar with holding a deck of cards in your hand from this channel or whatever the case, then you're off to a pretty good start. So I wish you the best of luck. Leave a comment with any questions, comments, concerns, constructive criticism. You may notice that this audio is better this time around, thanks to uh, the help of a friend, Matt Hoppy, and uh, the constructive criticism of the Disturb Reality audience. Let me know, hey, your audio's gotta get better on this, buddy. 
<laughs> please do something. So hopefully you enjoyed. Come subscribe if you haven't already. Come back in due time to find out when the next chapter unfolds of your summer crash course to get you prepared to hopefully have an audition or two or 10, 10, yes, 10 auditions in different various uh, stages of your life, potentially next chapter for you. Much love. God bless. Catch you down the road. Peace out, buddy.